In today's video, we will be discussing why study data types, different types of data in statistics, qualitative data, quantitative data, types of qualitative data, nominal data, and ordinal data. Hey champions, if you are interested in these topics, then keep on watching. You can subscribe to our channel for more such videos. Let's first see why do you need to study these different types of data. Studying different type of data types is important because different data types require different analysis. Some statistical and mathematical concept can only be used with a specific type of data. So having an adequate knowledge about data type helps select the best available technique for that type. Let us clear this with the help of an example. Linear regression can only be done on continuous data, not on categorical data, while the opposite is true for logistic regression. Hence, to understand the algorithms in detail, we should first understand the basics. Now moving on to the next topic, which is different types of data. In statistics, data can be broadly divided into two parts, qualitative data and quantitative data. Qualitative data, as the name suggests, describe the quality of things. This also means that it cannot be measured in the form of numbers. Example, hair color, which could be black, brown or red. Quantitative data, on the other hand, talks about the quantity of things, which also means that it is something we can measure in the form of numbers. Example, the weight of student in a class can be 30 kgs, 50 kgs or 100 kgs. We will be discussing the qualitative data in detail in this video and will discuss the quantitative data in some upcoming videos. Now moving on to our next topic, what is qualitative data and its types? As already mentioned, qualitative data talks about the quality of things and cannot be measured in the form of numbers. Hence, this type of data is classified into groups. No arithmetic operation is possible on this type. Qualitative data is also known as categorical data. For example, hair color which could be red, yellow or black or the country you were born in or the size of the clothes you wear. Now that we know what the qualitative data is, let's see its types. Qualitative data can be further divided into two types, nominal data and ordinal data. First, we will talk about nominal data. To understand more about the nominal data, let's see its four distinct properties. First, it cannot be measured in the form of numbers. Example, you cannot measure your hair color numerically. Second, it has no rank or order. Example, you cannot say that a person with black hair is better than the person with red hair. Third, it is not equidistant. Example, you cannot compare a person with black hair to a person with red hair. Fourth, it doesn't have a meaningful zero. Example, you cannot say zero black hair because it makes no sense. Let us now see what mathematical operations can be performed on it. This type of data can only be grouped into categories. It does not have any rank. Hence, this type of data cannot be sorted. That is, even if you change the order of the data, the meaning will remain the same. You can only calculate frequencies, percentages, proportions and central point with this type of data. No other mathematical operations like addition or multiplication are possible on this type of data. Example, nationality, gender and hair color. As you can see that this type of data cannot be ranked or order. In the case of gender, we cannot say that females are greater than males or vice versa. Now moving on to the other type, which is the ordinal data. To understand more about the ordinal data, let's see its four distinct properties. It cannot be measured in the form of numbers. Example, you cannot say medium in clothes size is size 1, large is size 2 and extra large is 3. Second, it has rank and order. Example, you can surely say that the size large is greater than the size medium. Third, it is not equidistant. Example, you cannot say that large minus medium equals to extra large minus large. This type of mathematical operation is not possible. Fourth, it doesn't have any meaningful zero. Example, there is nothing like size zero. Let us now see what mathematical operations can be performed on it. This type of data can be grouped into categories. Since this type of data follows some order and hence they can be sorted. You can sort this type by using basic comparison operators like greater than or lesser than. But note that there is no continuity in the relative distances between adjacent categories. You can also calculate frequencies, percentages, proportions, center point and generate summary stats with this type of data. No other mathematical operations 
like addition or multiplication are possible on this type of data example opinion size of clothes and grades as you can see that this type of data can be ordered in the size of the clothes excel is always greater than large size which in turn is greater than size medium hence there is some hierarchy in this type of data that's it for today's video i hope this video cleared all your doubts regarding the qualitative data types you can share your thoughts or questions in the comment box subscribe for more such videos bye and meet you in the next one